Hello friends, in this video we will see the top 10 Google interview questions that are asked very frequently in the programming interviews. So let's see the first problem. It's called text justification. So in this problem you are given uh, a list of words and uh, you are also given the maximum width that you can fit in one line. So uh, you have to start uh, in a greedy manner. So first word comes here then next word and you have to keep track of the characters so as soon as it crosses 16 or the max width that is given you have to move that word to the next line it's very similar to uh, the text justification that you see in applications like ms word so in this case width is 16 so you cannot fit four words in the first line and you have to separate the words by at least one space so three words will fit here then uh, these three words uh, sum to eight so the remaining eight you have to fill by spaces and these should be left and right justified so these are not left aligned these are equally aligned so the spaces you have to fit uh, in between the words and not uh, always on the end for the last word maybe it's in the end but for the remaining you have to divide the spaces uh, as equally as you can for example in this case these are equally divided as four and four spaces in the next one there are three spaces so you have to divide them uh, in two and one you have to uh, give more uh, spaces to the earlier ones you you cannot have two and three uh, sorry uh, one and two but two and one so this is the problem and uh, it's very commonly asked next problem is finding the leaps of binary tree so this is not simply finding the leaps but finding the leaves uh, adding that to the result and removing those leaves from the binary tree so let's uh, understand the flow so this is the initial binary tree clearly the leaves are 2 6 and 4 so you list 2 6 4 this vector into the result and you remove these nodes from the binary tree so now you get a smaller binary tree with just three nodes now the no uh, leaf nodes are 5 and 3 so you add 5 and 3 vector to the result and again remove these two nodes from the binary tree now you are left with just one node so this is the leaf so now you add one to the result and you remove this leaf so the binary tree now becomes empty and you return the result next problem is finding the shortest path in a grid with obstacles elimination so you are given a grid of length m cross n uh, and you have to reach from 0 0 that is top left corner to m minus 1 n minus 1 that is bottom right corner and there may be certain obstacles in the way and uh, you have to find the length of uh, smallest path uh, uh, using which you can reach from top left to bottom right and uh, you can uh, eliminate at max uh, the given number of obstacles so in this case let's say we have just one obstacle that we can remove then we will come uh, this way right right down 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 and we will reach the end so the maximum length will be one two three four five so we will return five but let's say we had one obstacle here also and here also then there is no path that we can take uh, by removing just one obstacle so in that case you can return minus one so you will be given the maximum number of obstacle so let's see the next problem it's called longest string chain so a uh, uh, string chain means uh, the words form a chain and the, by chain we mean that uh, you add just one character to a word then you get the next word so you have uh, let's say bca here and then you have bdca so if you insert d after b you get bdca so uh, uh, this the preceding word differs from the succeeding word by just one character and you are not allowed to uh, change the order of any of the existing characters you are just allowed to add one character so for example in this case the longest chain you can form is of length 4 starting with a so you have a then you add b before it to you get ba similarly uh, it could be b also from b you add a you get ba so now after ba you add c between b and a and you get bca so next is bca then you insert from bca you cannot reach bda because you are removing c and inserting d that is not allowed you are just allowed to add one character so from bca you can reach to bdca by inserting d and that is the uh, maximum length that you can achieve with this example 
now see the next next question that is evaluating the reverse polish no notation uh, it's also sometimes called post fix notation so in this case in normal uh, polish notation you have uh, operators between the operands but in this case uh, the operands are preceded before the operators so you get uh, if it's a binary operator you get uh, two operands followed by an operator so let's see this case so we have 14 13 so there is no operator here so we will not do any operation till now so here we find the operator that is dividing operator division operator so we see two places before that so before that we have 13 and 5 followed by this division so that means 13 divided by 5 so you will evaluate this part you will get some value so this three things will be replaced by one value 13 divided by 5 and now you see plus operator so preceding that you have two operands 4 and the result of 13 by 5 so you see add 4 plus 13 by 5 and you get 6 so uh, this is also a popular problem so please solve it next is find the original array from a doubled array so you are given an array where uh, there was some original array let's say this example 134 so you keep 134 but you add the double of each element to the list also so you have 134 and double of 1 is 2 double of 3 is 6 double of 4 is 8 so if you are given this input you have to find the original array it may not be uh, always possible to find the original array in that case you will return empty array for example in this first case it's possible to get the original array which will be 134 but in the next example you see that 6301 so if you try double of 3 is 6 but here in place of 0 if it was 2 then you could have returned 1 and 3 but here it's 0 so uh, uh, you cannot form a array uh, using which we can create this input array so we will return empty array next problem is decoding the string so here you will be given uh, a number followed by one or more characters so in this case let's see we have two and in the bracket we have bc that means bc should be repeated two times here we have three followed by a that means a will be repeated three times so you see uh, a a a repeated three times then 2 bc that means bc bc so uh, this is the input and this is the output this is an another example it can be nested also so this is the starting one so first you evaluate the inner one so a and 2c means cc so the inner one evaluates to acc and the entire pattern you have to repeat three times so acc 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 now let's see the next problem it's called uh, snapshot array so this is a class you have to implement so uh, google emphasizes on uh, implementing classes so uh, you will see a couple of uh, such problems here so let's say we have a snapshot array and it will take a constructor with some length so uh, so in this case you will initialize an array of the given length this uh, constructor will do that then you have to a function set so set and uh, here you will give an index and value so at index uh, this index set the value of val and then you have additional function snap which takes the snapshot of that array and returns the snap id so a snap id will start from one and it will increase by one every time you take the snapshot so uh, there is a get function where you can pass the index so what is the value of uh, an element at a given index for the given snap id so let's see an example so this snapshot array you uh, give a length of three so the second line denotes the input arguments so snapshot array constructor takes one integer so snapshot array of length three then you set the value of five at index zero then you take the snap so snap will return snap id zero so these are the return values and then you are setting the value of uh, 6 at the same index so the index at 0 had a value of 5 now the index at a value of 0 is 6 but between that we had taken a snapshot of the array, array. and now in the get function you will uh, specify the index for which you want to find the value and also the snap id corresponding to which you want the value 
so in this case we want to find the uh, value at index 0 corresponding to the snap id 0 so that will return 5 and not the current value that we just set because this was done after the snapshot was taken so this uh, class you have to implement next problem is shuffle array class so again uh, it's similar to previous one again you have to implement a shuffle array class and in this case you will be given one initial array so let's see the constructor will take one array one two three so this was the original array then you call shuffle function uh, here it is uh, without any arguments and it returns a new array of the same length with it will return one of the permutations of the elements of the uh, elements in that array and all the permutations would be equally likely so shuffle will return one permutation random permutation of that array and then reset function resets the array to original value so remember the array started with one two three so this was the original array then we shuffled it and then we called reset so the array should it should return the original array again we call shuffle so it will return another permutation of the same uh, array uh, some random permutation with equal probability for all the permutations now let's see the last and final problem and that's called uh, directions between two nodes in a binary tree so you are given a binary tree and you are given two nodes one will be the starting node one will be the destination node source and destination and uh, for example in this binary tree you have to reach from six to three so in order to do that you have to move one step up then right and then down or uh, you have to return the shortest path you can say that i will go to five then come to two then from two again i will go to five so that is also a path but that is not the shortest path because we are repeating the edges so you have to take the shortest path and reach from source to destination and you have to give the directions return the directions so in the direction you can have u r or l in this case there is no l so what is the meaning of u so u means you have to go to its parent so there will be just one parent so u uh, from a given node if you are going down you can go to either left child or right child since it's a binary tree two children will can be there at max so r means you go to the right child l means you go to the left child so in this case from six you go up then again you go up to reach one so two u are there then from one you go to the right child three so r is there so you have to return this sequence of directions so i hope uh, these problems would be helpful for you in uh, preparing for google coding interviews so uh, thanks for watching see you in the next video